yeah uh, so if we talk about uh, isro internship how you got the internship what is the process and second option how uh, what is the process for the arm and uh, how many rounds were there and what were the important topics were there? okay so isro uh, i would say if anyone would get a chance to work in isro uh, it's a once in a lifetime uh, experience so very nice place to work i mean you you get to learn different things you get to work on hands on of different uh, equipments and different tasks so uh, isro generally provides internship via uh, the college connect so they have different programs uh, on isro website also during my time they they had an mou memorandum of understanding with the ec department near my university mm -hmm. so every uh, year for this mine uh, the major project that they call it as a last semester internship uh, the college department would uh, recommend some students to isro uh, i think it is based on the criteria so it's based on your ppi and the merit rank that if you come in top 5 they'll uh, recommend your names to isro uh, though the condition was that you should not get placed anywhere because nirma has this placement criteria wherein companies come with uh, only internship then only job and i plus j that is internship plus job so if at all someone has got this internship plus job opportunity then they would not be able to apply to isro but for me as i was still in the application uh, process so uh, and and uh, being inclined to research section as well and communication uh, in this ec uh, along with vlsi embedded communication was also uh, one of my liking uh, areas so my uh, you know my profile was recommended to isro it was sent to them and they uh, gave us a direct shortlisting through the mou that they called uh, for internship then when you reach isro they have a small round of interview and they'll know all of your interest and in instincts about in which area you are interested or uh, which is the domain that you are working including your tools and technologies knowledge also so they ask whether you know c python whether you know verilog matlab etc and accordingly they'll uh, analyze the ongoing projects and they'll assign you the department so uh, this process is a very streamlined process so that you get to work in the department of your choice and where they also require the project uh, uh, trainees in their uh, ongoing project so that way i was assigned to the navigation receiver division that is okay. nrd so total how many interns were there from all over india like where there was must be some other interns from other colleges like what yeah. all the other colleges yes, and yes how yes. many total interns were there uh there were many uh, for for me i i mean on the, on the day that i joined there were some 15 more colleges along with nirma uh, whose interns were uh, you know uh, uh, to be onboarded on that day so from nirma we were uh, three to four people who were recommended uh, from different branches so like two from ec uh, two for from computer one from mechanical that way there are different so uh, i think uh, i'm not sure of the exact number but it would be a very uh, huge uh, exposure for people because as i said along with this mous isro have different programs like uh, trees and uh, i mean there are some uh, short names given on the isro website there are there mm -hmm. but they have these internship programs that they facilitate nowadays i i saw uh, people applying directly on their website sending the resumes and then team would uh, shortlist and send you the confirmation back so that's also a very good thing and uh, you know this means that they are welcoming more and more interns yeah, yeah, yeah. even even isro has uh, started recruiting people after that btech after you know they give the gate exam and the isro entrance exam uh, they have started recruiting which was earlier not the case like they were uh, preferring mtech people and phd people but now they are also you know uh, going a step forward for btech uh, students with gate and their own exam so that way they have a very strong network isro anyway i mean you know research wide even at bangalore i have seen bangalore uh, there are the branches of, of isro different sectors you know they have different uh, uh, sections where uh, different tasks are carried out say you have a sac at uh, ahmedabad space, uh, space application center which is famous for payloads and cameras and different so different different things they are a lot to different center so in that way it's a very nice place to work and they have a very good uh, environment there and even the labs and all so you get a very different experience on working uh, in the industry okay okay so if someone is doing a great in the internship so they 
they have the criteria for the full time also without any test or something or uh, they have to give no, the SO they... test separately yeah, so internship, they allot it for the time period of five to six months as per the understanding with college. Uh, I think for recruitment, they would uh, have to go through gate as well as their own entrance exam. Maybe, I mean, while the recruitment process is there, the, the internship, uh, you know, certification at ISRO, that would be a good, uh, uh, you know, addition to the resume that it will be an additive point in the profile that you have done internship at ISRO. But the process would be gate and their entrance exam. And uh, they have, they I think they also have a criteria of uh, some minimum percentage of marks or minimum PPI in your BTEC course. Mm -hmm. That's what they incorporate. Uh